Well, church family, welcome to day 11. We're continuing to look at Psalm 23, going slowly through it, tearing it apart. And uh, today we're looking at 23 verse 4, where David says, Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. We're going to isolate that phrase. I will fear no evil. First, I just want to point out, Notice that this psalm assumes the presence of real evil in the world, okay? David wasn't naive. David had experienced a, you know, Goliath that said he was going to feed his flesh to the birds of the air. He experienced a king who betrayed him, tried to hunt him down and kill him, and then even murdered an entire city because he found out they were in league with David. David saw evil right in the face. And even though he saw it, he chose to make no agreement with fear. What I love about this little piece of Psalm 23 is it's basically a small masterclass in handling your emotions, okay? It's saying to us, you can feel them, but you don't have to let them control the way that you respond, the way that you live. It's kind of like, When I was young, our family, we had a dog named Morgan. She was a small little dog, but I often had to go and take her on walks. And like any dog, she's going to run here and there. She wants to go over here and sniff that. She wants to go over here and bark that person down. You know, she, she's got her own agenda for the walk. So I had to constantly grab the leash and pull her back and say, Morgan, no, (laughs) don't you dare get back over here, stay on the sidewalk. We're going to walk around the neighborhood, right? Now that's the same way when it comes to human emotion, particularly fear. It will run you everywhere if you let it. But your human will empowered by the Holy Spirit is essentially the leash that God has given you so that you don't have to constantly be ruled by your emotions. You can reel the fear back in and you can choose not to come into agreement with it. And this reminds me of what Jesus said in the Gospels. He told us in Luke 21 that prior to his return, people would be fainting with fear. The world and I mean, just look around today. We see that everywhere, right? We've seen it the last few years, ever since the start of COVID. But he told believers, he said, see to it that you are not alarmed. In other words, Jesus says to us, just like he said to David, you can actually see to it. You can actually choose to not come into agreement with fear. You have a human will that the Holy Spirit wants to come alongside and help you and aid you, strengthen you so that you don't have to be ruled by fear. So I want to encourage you, church, take up David's same resolve to say, I will fear no evil, that fear is not our portion. All right. And then pull out that uh, application. Look at how you're going to apply this memorize this, get it in your heart, and then pray it, say it back to the Lord and ask him to make you fearless. All right, church family, we love you. See you tomorrow.